One of the core objectives of this broader initiative is meaning making and how people make meaning using a great variety of different beliefs and practices and, and values in the complex cultural ecologies that they're surrounded by. It's very natural as human beings to search for purpose and meaning. It's something we think about almost every day. You know, what are we doing? What do we want to do? Why are we doing this? And often this is associated with religious belief systems. Science then can have an impact on those religious systems. And religious systems can have an impact on how we understand science and apply science in the world and the various ways that we think about and how those interact together and how they infuse one another. Since science and religion are two dominant meaning-making systems we use to understand our world, it's important to try to understand the cognitive influences that move people towards the particular system of beliefs that they may hold. The debate on science and religion has often in the past been dominated by scientists and philosophers and theologians. They've really grappled with this at the sort of philosophical end of the spectrum. You know, what are the points of contention? Um, what claims can we make? And the idea in this project is really to say, okay, let's try and do something different. Let's use the tools of the social sciences to try and understand how it is that people form whatever their opinions are. Professors Elaine Howard Eklund, Dominic Johnson, and Christine Laguerre, along with a diverse group of academic peers, are studying these two primary meaning-making systems through the distinct lenses of anthropology, sociology, and cognitive science. One distinctive feature of, of psychology and cognitive science is the emphasis on the individual mind, the individual behavior, the choices they make, the values that they have. So one of the core objectives of the field of psychology is to try to understand how behaviors and values and morals, principles, uh, how they develop, how they're transmitted, where they come from, um, how they're adopted, both uh, within populations and between them. One of the things about my discipline of sociology is that we study group behaviors and we can confront then through our studies some really deeply held myths that groups have about one another. There's actually a famous sociologist who's done experiments about this. If you're in an elevator by yourself and you know, you're having a happy day, you might dance around, right? But if you get in an elevator with a bunch of people, you're gonna be all proper about things. You know, that's really what sociology is. It's the study of how people act in groups and how groups have an impact on our identities and how we act versus how people act and understand themselves individually. We want to understand how the, the identities of our groups have an impact on the kind of beliefs people have about the relationship between religion and science. We can't ever have a kind of um, direct observation of human evolutionary history, but we can look at small-scale indigenous societies like the ones in which humans evolved, looking at societies in a way that might help us understand the origins of meaning-making systems in human evolution. The goal of this research, involving anthropology, sociology, and cognitive science, is to shed new light on the key drivers and motivators that send human beings in search of understanding and meaning through science and religion. We have a lot of faith in science as people, but we also even as modern people, we're always looking for things that we think science cannot quite provide. We're looking for purpose. We're always looking for an understanding of, of why we're here. <laughs>